Welcome to Fridge Cam. We are Sorted Food, and today, oh, this happens. It's weird, but it works. Oh, that's quite. As does this. I assume that this is Jamie's way of saying, finish the burgers which I think is pretty depressing for a food channel. Now we love trying new stuff, we love taking inspiration from all over the world, from your guys' comments, and we try and create something new every so often. Doesn't always work. Oh no, definitely not. This <laughs> is the result. Welcome to Pass It On, and the rules of the game are very simple. Today we will all be cooking one dish together. We are going to be given a theme to base that dish on. We will only cook one at a time, and for 10 minutes each. And whilst that one person is cooking, the rest of us are going to be over the other side of the studio facing in the opposite direction with noise cancelling headphones on, so we've got no idea what's being cooked. Mm. OK, Janice, what's the theme? Today's theme is mmm, naughty treats. Okay. Ooh, OK, naughty treats. The thing that we have to do now is decide which order we want to cook in. Yep. I say a chef goes first and last. What, to get started and to clear up any mistakes? <laughs> or just to clear up. <laughs> I reckon Ebers should go first. OK. Because he has all the recipes in his head, ready to go. Barry's going second, Barry's I'm going third. Th I'll go fourth. Right. Three normals can completely screw this up. Right, should we leave you to it? Yep. Good luck. The horn says it all, which means my 10 minutes start. I'm thinking tropical flavours. I'm thinking the kind of things we've got on the table, lots of tropical fruit, that'll come later. But I want to do a dish that they know how to make, because later on they're going to have to carry on. So there's no point doing anything crazy. I want to do an amazing white chocolate and ginger bread and butter pudding. While we wait for the white chocolate, I'm going to leave some clues over on this board, because I think it'd be nice to serve this with kind of a tropical salsary thing and maybe even a little bit of spun sugar or something for a crunch. So if I leave these here, I'll get the idea, right? Okay, now for a game of Sherlock. That, surely they can work out that needs to go into the oven, especially if I leave it with an oven class equivalent. Let's think caramel. So we'll get a caramel on the go. If I leave it bubbling, by the time they step in and work out what it is, they'll be able to save it. I've done my bit. I've set up an amazing white chocolate and ginger bread and butter pudding. A tropical fruit salad with some sponge sugar. That is a naughty treat in my eyes. You're up. Right, what have we got? We have some sort of something, something cooking. I'll take it off the heat, just in case it needs that boiling water, is that syrup? Looks like a custardy mix. Oh, that's not custard, that's white chocolate. That is cold, who knew? Okay, this is gonna be really hard. There's bread on the front as well, what's it got bread on? What's bre oh, it's bread and butter, it's, it's, a, it's a bread pudding. Bread and butter pudding. Okay, I'll have to jazz this up. I, <laughs> that is the worst honker ever. I am going to make a beautiful bread and butter pudding with a tropical chocolate ice cream mix on the side. I'm going to focus my attention on this. I don't know what I'm making. Just, just start making something, Barry. Let's get some ice cream out. Pre-made ice cream. What the hell is this? I think this ice cream's off. <laughs> How bad can it be? <laughs> what the f is that? Right, so my, my idea for ice cream isn't going to work because the ice cream that's in the fridge isn't frozen. It's in there. That should need 20 minutes, so it's not my problem. Cut up my pineapple. You know what goes really well with pineapple? Cayenne pepper. Get that in there. Passion fruit, passion fruit. Don't feel me. <laughs> Don't look at me. Right, mango, in. A little bit of cayenne pepper in there. I know it's weird, but trust me, this works. I've seen it on a show. I think it was sorted food. Shut up. 
shut up, Ed. It's weird, but it works. Oh, that's quite. <laughs> That is the really spicy one. How why is that so spicy? <laughs> why is that? Did you give me the wrong cayenne pepper? There's only one up here, Barry. That is so spicy. Oh well, that's not my problem anymore. <laughs> 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 that's the one thing I made. I screwed it up. Right. Right. What else can I start? I've got a minute. I need to make. I need to carry on making something. Try and take away from the heat by getting lots of mint in there. Rather than there. I'm so annoyed that's so spicy. You've got a beautiful salad here, and I'm done. Oh no, that might burn. Still have no idea what that is. I've left that hob on, but I'm sure he won't mind. I'm sorry. Grab myself a little snack on the way round. There's some already here. Okay, there's two very distinct work station's already going on. Barry's been here because that hob's still on. I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> That's warm. Warm. That's a custard. That looks like bread and butter pudding. Ha! Ben made a bread and butter pudding and Barry's made a fruit salad. And now I'm going to make something that complements or brings both of these together. Juicy Lucy sliders. Right, I've got mints, I've got sea salt, a bit of pepper. Uh, right, I'm gonna make some like breadcrumbs. Um, but I might need a machine to do that, I don't know. Right, in the meantime, shall we see if there's something that I can add to Barry's dessert? Um, well, I'm, I'm guessing it's Barry's dessert because he's just cut up some fruit and put it in a bowl, whereas it looks like Ben's made an actual bread and butter pudding. I think one of the best things to add to a fruit salad is crushed up biscuits. So, get a bit of texture in there. That's gonna be fantastic. Spoon it into here drizzle of chocolate. I don't mind telling you that that's a naughty treat. Bit of a kick to them. I'm gonna cut some cheese, cutting the cheese, just fine. Now the problem is, I've got a slider. I don't necessarily have slider buns. Just wipe them down, so I put some raw meat on there. This bread's not big enough to do this. Right, they'll understand that. Ha! Ah. Gonna have savoury and sweet naughty treats. Also made a little bit of a mess. You're up. What is going on? There's only one person boring enough to make bread pudding, and that'll be Ben. So, I'm gonna say that he put that in right at the beginning and it probably needs to come out because bread pudding definitely doesn't take 50 minutes. What has that got to do with anything? I thought we were doing one dish. I assume that this is Jamie's way of saying, finish the burgers, which I think is pretty depressing for a food channel. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is firstly clear down, then I think I'm gonna make a raspberry and mango separate coolie to go with that and whip up some sweet cream. That's probably all I've got time for, but I think it's more important to add to what we've already got than just start something new. I wanna chop these up nice and small because they're gonna break down with the sugar that I add. Do the same with mango, 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 mango. Oh, I should've peeled that first, shouldn't I? Blend that right up. Oh, in my eye. This mango you probably want 
about one tablespoon every 200, 250 grams of fruit. Who knows what I'm doing. The mangoes, it's not happening. Oh no. Right, that's me done. I don't know what I've done. We'll see what they can do with that. It is time. Okay. Oh my God. What, what is this? That's oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um. Wow, that's spicy. Wow. Okay, so I came in here thinking, I've got 10 minutes to plate up. Um, what I've got is 10 minutes to rescue this. So I'm gonna use the bread and butter pudding and then I've seen some bananas over there. I might do some like caramel bananas um, with some chocolate um, and put the chocolate through the whipped cream. The fruit salad, I, I think it might be inedible. So we might not use that. Okay, uh, wow. That's pre-made sugar. Um, so I'll see if I can, I don't know if that's gonna work in 10 minutes, oh no. Okay, uh, bananas. Caramel's not gonna be ready. So bananas are going on. Oh, it's so close, it's so close. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done. I'm, uh, I hope it's okay. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> it smells good. Oh! Oh! Fascinating! Oh. oh! So I thought a nice little dainty white chocolate and coconut milk bread and butter pudding with a hint of oh. ginger yeah, lovely. in there so that it would have a nice sort of gooey custard, some nice crispy bits on top, and then that could be served with a super fresh, with my thinking tropical, pineapple-y, passion-fruity, mango kind of... We are the, the same. I, I walked to their kitchen, saw what you were doing, thought that needs to go to the oven. Straight in the oven. I Perfect. Thought. 25 minutes, yeah? And I went on the idea of going, you know what, I'm going to create a lovely spice, a little bit of Cajun spice in there. Cajun? Okay. Not Cajun. Cajun? Cayenne. Cayenne. Cajun. That's pretty weird. Cayenne. A bit spicier than I thought it was going to be, but it went in there with some strawberries, some raspberries, some mints, some passion fruit, and mango, and pineapple. All of those fresh flavours to combat Perfect. the creaminess yeah. of the white chocolate bread and butter pudding. I can't see it on the plate. Well, no, see, that's amazing, because I got into the kitchen, and I found a fantastic fruit salad that had been made, and I found separately from that, in the oven, what I thought was a bread and butter pudding. And I thought, mm, there's a bread and butter, butter pudding that has been made and is just cooking, that's finished. There is a fruit salad that has been made but hasn't been served up. So I put that into a little ramekin, and there was some melted chocolate there as well. Was that from, from I you? I left some in case somebody wanted to do something with Perfect. melted chocolate. Perfect, so I melted, I poured some melted chocolate over the top of the fruit salad and served that up. Perfect, but then I had like quite a lot of time spare and I thought, well, that's the sweet part to our naughty wrong. treat. And I thought, what about if I make the savoury part to it and I make some Juicy Lucy sliders? So I arrived <laughs> <laughs> and there's something in the oven that looks like it should come out because a bread and butter pudding should normally come out, I thought, between 20 and 30 minutes. I left it there for you to take out! I saw some, some pink burgers in the pan. Yep. I also saw some perfectly spherical pieces of bread with one <laughs> bit of tomato on the top. What? Which I, I sort right. of thought, right, so that, that's obviously for the burgers. So what right. I then did was ignore that. Right. And left it alone. And I thought, well, there's a mango salad. There's a bread and butter pudding. I'll whip up some cream and try and make a raspberry and strawberry coulis but it took me that long to work out what was going on <laughs> that again, neither of, them, <laughs> neither of them made it onto the is dish. That what that is? I didn't ignore the tomato and buns. I put them straight in the bin. <laughs> um, I, I then tried one of the 
um, bread and pita pudding. Which is why I made two, so you could always test so if one was working. Gingery and, and it worked and it was cooked. Then I tested, tested the fruit salad and almost <laughs> choked. So I didn't put that on. It was quite spicy. It, you know what I mean? It's meant to be a small It was like, quite least... chunky as well. That's fine though. Mm. <laughs> Just a touch too spicy. I did so use did. some of it. I chopped up the pineapple a little bit more. So it's got a tiny bit of spice there is a to the it. dish. Like this enough. Is so that's the amount of spice that will work of chef's in the dish. Work right here. And then you went for something toffee like with banana to go. So then I, I was clearing up and I found a pan on the sink that was full of sugar syrup. So I. Oh, that's I, what it was! I started with a sugar syrup so we could that's get a little bit of texture on the plate. So I made a caramel. It was too hot to taste. Syrup. So I couldn't work out what it was. <laughs> so I made a caramel from the sugar syrup and poured it over some pistachios. It wasn't quite set when I put it on the plate, but I tried. Um, if, if, and if I found some whipped cream, so I whipped the cream and then put the white chocolate through the cream. So that's white chocolate cream. I don't know who did the white chocolate. <laughs> you didn't find any whipped cream, mate. I poured double cream into a bowl and put a whisk in it. <laughs> that's my contribution for And I this. left you some melted white chocolate. So just to summarize, Ben cooked a whole dish. The three of us mucked around for half an hour between us. James came along and made a, a garnish for it and it's been served up. Yeah. Shall I, shall I get your fruit salad? So we can have it alongside. Barry's annoyed about that. He's so salad. upset. He's so upset. He wasn't that spicy. Oh, banana's nice. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Ben, if you made an entire bread and butter pudding, got it ready to put completely in the oven, what did you expect four other people to do for 40 minutes? That's so a my good question. Was, yeah. If you've got a tropical fruit salad and a bread and butter pudding, then you'll definitely want some crunch on the plate. So it leaves an opportunity for someone to do something, which is why I had a sugar syrup on, or some cookies, or some twills, or some nuts, or something to give it texture. One thing we've learned is we don't work well as a team. You take anything away from this, kids, don't try. <laughs> Let someone who knows what they're doing do it. Don't bother. Don't even try. I thought a burger was a really nice naughty <laughs> treat. <laughs> now, in theory, this could still work. I think it started strong. Yeah. And then it went a little bit offward, as is supposed to, jeopardy, and then yeah. it went a bit too far. We just kept spinning it and spinning it and spinning it until so we got dizzy. We're gonna keep practicing this and try and work out what we can do to make this perfect, and then one day we'll bring back Pass It On in its It's gonna be brilliant. Just trust me, it's gonna be brilliant. Uh, caveat, we might Thank need you. their help and they should probably comment down below. Please, yeah. If you like the fact that sometimes we share all our mistakes, then please do like the video and stay with us for our next one. So we have brought back Made Personal with the yeah. twist this year. Yeah. We're also gonna bring back Big Night In with a massive twist. We're actually going out. That's coming to you next, next episode. Oh no, bye.